What's up everyone, welcome back to another GTA 5 video here on my channel today, this is iCrazy Teddy. In this video we're going to be going through some of the secret DLC features or things you may not have known about the Ilgon Gains part 2 update. With that being said, in the coming days leading up to the DLC, I'm going to be uploading a really interesting video showing you guys how you can get free money in Grand Theft Auto 5 without using any hacks, glitches or things that could put your account in jeopardy. So, if you guys would like to see that, give this video a big thumbs up, let me know down below in the comment section if you guys know any secret features about the ill-gotten gains part 2 that I may have missed in this video and let's get right into the information so Firstly, we're going to start off with the thing that I found the most interesting. We are looking at the Progen T28, aka the McLaren P1, and this is actually a hypercar. Now, you guys are probably asking me, Teddy, what the hell is a hypercar? Now, basically, what a hypercar is, it's a hybrid between, you know, an electric and a fuel-based engine. So, it basically uses both. And apparently, this is also going to include the Curse system. You guys may or may not know what this is. Most of you guys probably just call it the NOS. As you guys may know, in the heist update, we actually had the uh, Electro motorcycle, which actually had its own curse system, which is basically like a speed boost. Now, if I'm going about this correctly, according to the wiki and everything that we've been told about this car so far, we are going to be getting some sort of NOS boost or curse with this vehicle. You know, it's not 100% guarantee, but since it is a hypercar, there is an even higher chance of this happening. I think that'd be awesome, and considering the vehicle is going to be hella expensive, you know, you're just going to have to cram a buttload of money into purchasing this vehicle. It's definitely going to have to have some awesome feature to get fans to buy it. Either way, I think it looks awesome, and I'm going to be purchasing it anyways. Now, moving on to the next thing. I actually didn't know about this until my friend Declan actually told me about it, and uh, this is actually on the Knuckle Duster. So, as you guys can see knuckle duster there's actually four v's on it and i talked a little bit about how this may be possibly a customization option or maybe you can put your crew initials on it according to my friend these v's actually represent the roman numerals for the number five so gta 5 and if we take an even closer look you guys can actually see uh you know a rose and also a gun underneath uh, each and every single one of these letters so that's pretty interesting why the hell is there like little engravings of either a weapon or a flower on top of the brass knuckles or the knuckle dusters, whatever you guys want to call it. And I thought that was something pretty sweet just to go over. Next, we're going to be moving on to probably what is going to be my most favorite vehicle of the DLC. And I've said this so many times. I actually mentioned this partially in one of my breakdown videos, but didn't fully talk about this. As you guys may know, this is the Coil Brawler. The Coil Manufacturer tends to make weapons in Grand Theft Auto V. And not just any weapons, they make the minigun, the railgun, and also the latest PDW. And what do all of these weapons have in common, apart from them being made by the same manufacturer? These are all electric weapons in G. GTA 5 and the coil manufacturer is actually an electric goods manufacturer so judging by this I'm gonna say there's almost a 95% chance that this is going to be an electric vehicle if not confirmed and I'm really interested to see how this is gonna work and cope against other off-road vehicles and I think it would definitely shine when it comes to the off-road scene but I can't really judge the vehicle until I've played with it myself so yeah like I said all the gameplays of these vehicles these new items weapons and everything will be on my YouTube channel when the DLC does come out. Next thing that we're going to be talking about is the motorbike that is coming in the Ilgarn Games Part 2. This is the Dinka Vindicator and you guys can actually notice the initials D and 4 being put onto this motorbike and you guys are probably asking what is the significance of this? And GTA users have come to the conclusion that this does mean that this is Dinka's fourth official motorcycle. I believe they did have like an off-road one, the Enduro. However, it doesn't actually fit in the same class as the normal motorcycles where we have the Akuma, Carbon RS, the Thrust and now the Vindicator. So I thought that was something pretty cool and just wanted to add it. Hope you guys really did enjoy the video. I'm pretty sure there's still a lot of things we don't know about the Ilgarn Games Part 2 update. If you guys would like to share and maybe give an insight, be sure to leave something constructive down below in the comment section. Once again, if you guys would like to see that awesome way to make free GTA 5 cash, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll have it out in the next couple days just before the DLC drops so you guys can keep topped up on GTA cash and then you can purchase all the items by using the awesome method. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Take care everyone and peace. I'm feeling myself.